joke okay hi guys welcome back to my channel so you guys probably wondering where i am i am actually in amsterdam for a mini solo trip that i wanted to do for my 24th birthday you know this year i really want to do things that are out of my comfort zone so i have traveled a lot not gonna lie but i've never traveled alone to stay alone and uh, yeah this is something new for me i am excited for it and now i have to go i actually booked a ticket to visit uh, Anne frank's uh, house and i'm really excited because when i was in high school i actually read her book and it really touched my heart it was so emotional for me so the fact that i'm gonna actually be where she was yeah kind of excited for it and uh, hopefully I won't cry because I also booked a 30 minutes um, introduction program how cute are these this is a welcome card and they also put some little chocolates let me show you guys the outfit of the day so this is a gray top with jeans um, yeah see you later oh my god Suddenly, it's so awkward filming yourself when you're alone. Try to forget, but the thoughts they seem to drown instead. Is there anyone who maybe has been here before? I knew that Anna wrote a diary. She spoke about her diary. It took me a very long time to read it. And I must say, I was very much surprised about deep thoughts on the head. Her seriousness, especially her self-criticism. It was quite a different Anna I had known as my daughter. Hey guys, so I just got out of the Anne Frank's house and there were so many points where I wanted to bawl my eyes out because it's just so freaking sad, you know. And the way she was so mature for her age. Yeah. Now I'm just trying to find a spot to eat alone. I'm really hungry. I only had one meal today, so... Let's see. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just walking. Oh, it's a cute little shop. Ninja. Oh 
Oh my god! I'm so excited. I'm gonna shamelessly vlog myself in front of everyone. food but then i realized that i was here for a reason so i'm gonna take myself out to a restaurant even though i'm not feeling it hopefully i'm gonna find a good pasta spot so let's see i feel like i'm already getting sick you can hear my voice crack but let's do this <laughs> Got myself some fries. Guys, I'm back from the restaurant. <laughs> Honestly, every time I go to a restaurant alone, I'm like, wow, how do people do this? It was so intimidating and whatever. So I bought this candle because I couldn't find any birthday candles so I'm just gonna light this up at midnight if I'm still awake because I'm already sleepy and I also got a little brownie to celebrate myself because 2024 and my 24th year of my life is all about me okay and let this be your sign to be kinder to yourself to treat yourself like someone you love although it's easy to say but i feel like you have to consciously take actions to work towards it like you have to make sure that this unconscious part of your brain knows that you are also someone that you love and cherish and you also have to treat yourself as a loved one so yeah these are my last words i feel like a grandma but seriously guys it's uh 9 p.m and I was just thinking like whether I should do this talking stuff now or not and uh, because I'm starting to feel sleepy I don't know if I will last till midnight but yeah happy birthday to myself I hope you have a wonderful new year dogger <laughs> yes I've been talking for seven minutes now I know only two seconds of this video is gonna make it so See you at midnight if I'm still alive. If not, see you tomorrow. Okay guys, so I'm done packing. I'm gonna leave today to Brussels. I'm exhausted for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, it was a success, I would say. adore you today and always happy birthday queen love you Aja. you're my everything oh. <laughs> we're here, so we're going to a party after months and months after years yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah it's still my birthday week so i guess i'm gonna put this uh, footage in my birthday vlog Oh yeah, da. Love you too. We had so much food. 